Hey everybody, welcome back. Uh, we're out on the range this evening, uh, doing some more testing uh, with the rifle. Okay? Uh, anyway, for uh, today's range trip, or what sparked today's range trip was, uh, I was at home just doing a once over on the on the six eight western, making sure all my uh, screws and everything were torqued to spec, and I got to thinking. I wonder if I can't tweak my accuracy in the rifle just a little bit more uh, with my really good reloads and the reloads I'm talking about are the Berger 170 EOLs. Um, if you guys aren't familiar, I was shooting right around a quarter MOA at a thousand yards with that round uh, with my load. And uh, so I was reading and I had read in the past to where uh, the torque on your action screws can, may affect accuracy. Um, and so I wanted to come out to the range and now that i've got a bunch of the 170 burgers loaded up and i brought my torque wrench with me and i wanted to play around with some different torque numbers to see if i can't kind of tune in that accuracy a little bit now i understand that you should not be using your these torque numbers to tune in a load you should be tuning in a load uh based off of like uh you know your your grain weight your bullet selection uh you should be really tuning your load to your rifle on the reloading bench and not necessarily uh messing with the action screws but uh anyway it was just I thought for a video and I thought maybe if I could squeeze a little bit more accuracy out of it, why the hell not? So uh, kind of what I got going on is I'm going to start at 50 inch pounds on, on both action screws. And we're going to work our way up in 5 uh, inch pound increments all the way up to 65 inch pounds. Now let me say the uh, quarter inch, uh, that quarter MOA group out of 1000 I was getting was with 60 inch pounds and MDT. Uh, recommends anywhere from 60 to 65 inch pounds on their HNT 26 chassis. So I'm going to dial it back a little bit and work my way back up to 65 and see if we can't see any noticeable difference. Uh, I'll see you guys back at the reloading room with uh, all of the with all the data that I have. All right, here's what we came up with. Um, so in a nutshell, I didn't see too much of a variance with uh torque specs okay so starting over here with 50 inch pounds and this was at 100 yards <clears throat> um a 0.626 inch group uh, 55 mitigated a 0.537 moa group 60 inch pounds was 0 0.570 and 65 inch pounds was 0 0.633 um, I did a three shot group and actually ran out of ammo. I, I should have brought some more ammo with me because I, I think what happened was as once I set the torque, I shot and the gun kind of settles a little bit after that first shot. And then it kind of kicks your other two shots kind of in a different direction. But interestingly enough, though, um, it, it seemed like my first shot was here and then the second shot was this one. And then it came back to the original um to the original hole this one was the outlier uh, this was kind of a nice little clover relief pattern but same with this one here i hit i made an adjustment uh, elevation adjustment and my very first shot hit right in the center and then it went to the left and then the third shot went back to the first one and same with the 65 inch pounds my first shot hit near center the second one uh flew out a little bit and then the third shot came back to where it was originally at so um ideally if i would have brought more ammo i probably could have done a five shot group and um you know established a little bit better better data to see if those next two shots would have um you know stayed within this uh within these two uh these two bullet holes here to see if i couldn't get a really nice group and just to confirm maybe that second shot was kind of just a flyer on all of these as the gun was getting settled into its new torque spec, okay? Now, uh, I took the two best, um, I took the two best groups, uh, the 55 inch pounds and the 60 inch pounds, and I, and I did another three shot group just to see if I can confirm what happened. And at this point, the barrel was pretty warm. I was getting some Mirage. Um, and so I'm not gonna bullshit you guys, cause you know, I'm, I'm not like the best shooter, but you know, I'm like anybody else. And the, the groups opened up uh, pretty tremendously to where um, the second 55 inch pound group was 1.48 and the second uh, 60 inch pound group was 1.266. Now, um, 
that's bad, but we can learn something from this. And, and one is this group here on the 55 inch pounds um, is kind of similar in a way to the first group in that sense that none of them are really touching, right? Um, however, on the 60 inch pounds, you got two that are always touching and one flyer, okay? So the consistency uh, with the torque specs of the 60 to 65 inch pounds are is very consistent. So, um, like I said, I, I wish I would have brought some more ammo. I would have liked to have shot another two rounds and just see if I could have landed those other two rounds closer to these other two um, holes up here. So anyway, I'm gonna leave it at 60 inch pounds. Um, it seems to be like a, a good, it seems to be a good medium. Uh, gun seems to like the 60 inch pounds. Um, I could even go 65 inch pounds when I'm opening up my groups a little bit. This is a very small sample size, but I think I'm just gonna keep the 60 inch pounds. In fact, I know I'm gonna keep the 60 inch pounds. Uh, the rifle really seems to like that. All right, so it appears that I was actually spot on with my torque spec. Uh, right from the get-go when I was building the rifle. So I'm just gonna leave that the way it is. However, this was a fun video just to, you know, get out and shoot the ammo and just to shoot the rifle and keep practicing out there. Um, hunting season coming up in a few more months. Um, kind of mid-September is when we're gonna start around here. So it's just good to get out and shoot in the rain a little bit and just go shoot the rifle. Um, and it's fun to do these experiments. I also want to say uh, we're really close to 500 subscribers. Um, I would say if you guys like the 6.8 Western content and find it useful or semi-entertaining, um, go ahead and hit the subscribe button and uh, like the video. I am going to plan on doing like a, a, a kind of a fun little range trip to celebrate 500 subscribers when we hit that mark. Um, it's, it's not going to be extravagant, but it will be pretty fun. Um, so hopefully you guys will be around to, to see that video. Uh, and then kind of some future videos that kind of was thrown around. Let me know what you guys think. Uh, I know I've had some interest with the uh, Barnes 155 LRX. That's the all copper bullet. And that's their new one for 2023. Uh, I was thinking about reaching out to um, Barnes to see if they would want to uh, send like a little sample pack to the channel so I can reload load some up and try it out. Uh, and Hammer Bullets is, um, they just came out with their HHT and that's like their polymer tipped ammo. And I, they do a 160 grain for the 270 uh, and they advertise it for like the 6.8 Western. So I was thinking about reaching out to those guys and uh, see if they wanted to send like a little sample pack my way um, so we can uh, load some up and go test those out. Um, those are gonna be pretty cool because you have to, I was watching their YouTube channel and uh, you have to assemble the polymer tip on their own, so on your own. So um, I thought that'd be kind of interesting uh, to give that a go. Uh, and the only other one I would want to try, oh, that I'd like to try out is just their uh, their 160 grain uh, Hammer Hunter from their Hammer Bullets. Um, I'd like to, or no, the 156 Hammer Hunter because I was shooting the 162s and uh, I was getting all right accuracy with that, but uh, I'd like to try the 156 to see how they would shoot. So those are kind of the three ideas I had for uh, just kind of keep some of the, the content fresh. I know I've been really like pushing the 170 Burger EOLs and the 175 Nosler uh, content, but uh, to kind of keep things fresh, I'd like to uh, maybe kind of deviate that way and, and try out some of these new bullets uh, that these companies are coming out with to see um, if it'd be something that uh, is viable for me or it might be viable for you guys. Um, so anyway, uh, right on. Well, thanks guys. I appreciate it. And uh, we will uh, see you on the next one. Have a good night.